Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a quick first impressions video for you. Today, we are looking at a Kaiser. This is the Kaiser Original XL. Um, this is the, just, there are a couple of variations of this. So this is the aluminum handle, um, gunmetal gray version. Before I get into too much about the knife, I didn't want to show you the box again, because it's like, we've all seen the boxes that Kaiser's using these days, but I did want to show you, uh, this is what comes in the box. Really nice presentation here. Um, let's see, in here we've got your microfiber cloth with a little bit of paperwork. But the big thing is, look at the screws. So they've sent, I think, a full, I didn't do a proper count, but I just kind of looked over it. Um, it looks like they've sent replacements for all the screws in here. Um, now, I don't know if that means... <laughs> <laughs> that I shouldn't be trusting the quality of those screws or what. I don't think it means that, but um, that's a really, really nice touch. And it's it's super convenient to see that kind of thing, especially, you know, in a knife at this price point. This is not an expensive knife. Uh, excuse me while I'm just popping everything back in the box so I don't lose it while I'm talking to you. Um, I think these go for like 85 bucks. And at $85, this is highly, highly compelling. Now, I'll get to my, my primary issue with this knife. I do have an issue with it, but it's not anything major, especially for most of you watching. Before I get to that, um, quick rundown on the materials and construction here, just from tip to butt. We have a drop point 154 cm flat ground blade, very nicely done. Moving on, bearing pivot button lock with thumb stud deployment, or of course you can do the old button lock flick. Uh, aluminum handle. Now I've got to say immediately I noticed, hold on, let me get a light here. There we go. Had to get it into a level of brightness. This wasn't going to blind everybody. Trying to get this angle right. There you go. You can kind of see it there. Um, this is heavily, heavily milled out. So the the weight on this is really, really good. Um, so you can really notice that. Now, if, I don't know, you may complain about this. I don't really think it's an issue, but uh, it does sound and feel just a little bit hollow. Um, I At first I, it stood out to me, but I, I got over it pretty quickly. Um, so we've got, we've worked our way all the way down to the handle. Finally, let's look at the clip. The clip is really, really well done. Deep carry clip, completely flush, both flush screws and uh, recessed into the handle there. So again, that's a really, really nice touch. The only limiting factor there is it's not going to be lefty friendly. As you can see, there's no recess here on the show side. All right, so uh, that's a quick rundown of features. The next thing I want to hit on is size. And this is where I do take a small issue. Not that, I mean, the size is clearly advertised. I knew what I was getting um, coming into this. But even at that time, I thought, look, I, I, this knife is so compelling that I want to check it out either way. But this knife is only seven and a half inches long, three and a quarter inch blade four and a quarter inch handle um to me that that's too close to the original original um, when this knife first came out it was a three inch blade like just a little under three inch blade so you've only added like a quarter inch to the blade and a half inch to the overall size it doesn't seem to make sense like it's so close to the other version that it feels like you, you're almost competing with your exact same model that's already out there. Um, it, you know, it would have made it to me a lot more sense to make this an eight inch knife, um, put it in the same sort of size category as the, the Kaiser Escort. Um, and that's the, that's the, the other thing I should say about this. Um, this is so good. It reminds me of the Kaiser Escort. So the Kaiser Escort I had said before was the most impressive thing Kaiser's done in a while. Uh, this is right up there. It is so, so good. I know I complained a little about the size, um, but you know, that aside, like that's only considering this in comparison to the previous model that already exists. If, if this just came out all on its own, uh, you know, there's, you could not complain. It is so, so impressive. Um, the ergonomics are good. Like for a smaller knife, 
you know, it feels good in hand. It does offer me the ability to choke up there with that bit of a flat spot on the handle. So that's very, very much appreciated. The action is phenomenal. And this is right out of the box action. I haven't played with it. I actually, I ran out of forced air a couple of days ago. So I haven't even been able to sort of clean things up the way I normally would. And this is just incredible. Um, so what are my first impressions on the Kaiser Original XL? Uh, very, very impressive. Uh, Kaiser recently, or the last year and a half or so, you know, before that, you know, I went like a year or maybe two years without buying a Kaiser. I was just kind of over them. And then uh, starting with, I don't know what knife, maybe the Towser or the uh, bag letter, the original bag letter, maybe. Anyway, they, they had a couple of knives that were okay and they just kind of took off from there. So I, you know, this has got to be one of the nicest knives in this size range for this budget. It's just a huge, huge win. The Kaiser Escort, again, the Kaiser Escort in the 20 CV, like the high end finish, um, I would take that over almost any Benchmade I've ever handled. It is so well done. And this is just the same. So um, my first impression is just really, really great. I do wish it was bigger, you know, and, and here's, here's, here's where the whole, you know, boy who cries wolf thing comes in. You know, I wish almost every knife was bigger um, because I, you know, I tend to like things that are eight and a half inches or so, but in this case, I feel like I'm really justified, guys. If you could throw me a bone here and say, yeah, Kevin, this one should be bigger because as it is, it's just too close to the version that currently exists. Like there's already a seven inch version and now you've just gone to like seven and a half inches, an extra quarter inch of blade. Is that really worth, you know, tooling up for a whole nother model? Wouldn't it have made more sense to take the same model and make it appealing to an even broader audience by pushing this up to, you know, at least eight inches or even eight and a half inches since you're calling it an XL. All right, there you go, guys. That's my first impression. Really, really got to say, I do love this knife. If, if you know, a three and a quarter inch blade is, is in your wheelhouse, that's the, the size of knife you tend to like. Or even if you tend to like larger stuff like I do, I'm still really, really impressed with this. And I can see this working really well as a knife to carry. Like, it's so light. Oh, I don't even think I told you the size, the, the weight is only 2.86 ounces. Um, so the reason I say that is because, um, you know, if you want to throw this in your pocket when you're going for a run or doing something where uh, the weight of a knife really matters, or if you're wearing those lightweight sport or jogging pants like I am today, because it's my day off, um, this is a really, really good option for that as well. So sorry about that, guys. I, I should have mentioned the weight. Uh, I don't know how I forgot that, but there it is. Uh, thanks a lot. Don't forget to check those channel sponsors. This did come from White Mountain Knives, and Justin still has some in stock, so go over there and pick one up. I don't think you'll be disappointed. We'll talk to you later.